It's four in the morning. I have been running around all day today. I've been to Fry's uh, like twice today and twice yesterday. So if you are a developer and a gamer, you know the dilemma. You've got, you have two computers. You always have to have your Mac for work. You have to have your your gaming PC for playing games. If you want to play Battlefield or whatever it is that you play, Call of Duty, whatever. And for the last like two years, I've like had this <clears throat> had this stupid problem where every time I want to work, I have to plug in my I've got to plug in my MacBook. So we just bought new MacBooks, so I've got the, the MacBook Pro. Beautiful space gray. Anyways, you have to plug in the MacBook, and you gotta use with these freaking USB C's. You gotta get like a a freaking dongle thing that has all of your ports on it and everything that you need on that. And basically, I take this to work with me. So I go to work and I work there, and then I come home and I have to plug in this, plug in my power, pull my HDMI cord out of my computer, plug it back into the uh, all of this stuff, plug plug in my um, hard drives and all that, and it's just a pain. Like, and then if I'm in the middle of the day, if I'm working and I want to take a break and I want to play some games for 30 minutes, I have to pull all the cables out, plug them all back into the PC. It's just a nightmare. So I have a gaming PC that is sitting here, which I'll show you now. So I built this um, about a year ago, and it's just sitting here. And it's been on my desk as a paperweight because I never use it because it's such a pain in the butt to move back and forth between this computer and the Mac. So basically, the last like day, I decided that I was gonna build a Hackintosh. So I, I had, Oh, well, I don't have them because they're my wife's computer now, but I had two AMD R9 390s in, in this computer, um, like, for the last year. And they work great for gaming, but I know for Hackintosh there's problems with installing Mac OS with those cards. So, I finally broke down, went to Fry's, and bought a GTX 1080 Ti, um, the Aorus edition whatever brand that is I think it was uh, gigabyte um, so I bought that card and apparently everything else I researched it and everything else with this works for Mac OS right out of the box so I ended up installing it and um, it runs perfectly I can't believe it but with almost zero tinkering I I ended up putting on a bunch of RGBA stuff the RGBA water block and the um, the power supply, um, it's got the the RGBA water block here. So you got that there. Get the focus. There we go. So you got the RGBA water block. It's got the RGBA thermal take power supply. It's got the uh, and then I installed these RGBA uh, header or um, fans on my radiator for the Pacific cooling. So I have all this RGBA stuff on there. I had to take the entire motherboard apart. Uh, I mean, not motherboard, the entire like case apart, pull the motherboard off of it, put all of the stuff, all the cords and all the routing. This case is a total pain in the butt because all the cords have to route through all the stuff in the back. And so it took me like five hours the first time. And then I had the original thermal take just copper block on there. And, I mean, it looked good, but I wanted the RGBA block, but it wasn't fitting on the CPU. There was leaving, like, a gap in there. So it was causing my CPU to heat up to, like, 100 degrees, like, that fast. So I ended up having to saw some of the standoffs on it so it would actually make contact with it. So that was a pain. I had to take it apart. I had coolant all over my desk. It was such a pain. If you're ever going to go liquid cooling, this liquid cooling system looks awesome, the Thermaltake Pacific. And if you're that hardcore, I think I kind of am because I love stuff like this, I just for the looks of it. If you're that hardcore, fine, go with it. But if you don't want to mess with having liquid coolant spill all over your desk, having stained red hands for a week, 
having your carpet destroyed and everything else trying to trying to mess with this yeah you could do it without that but it's like if anything goes wrong it's everywhere I would recommend just buying one of the thermal take liquid or the one of the thermal take water 3.0 systems or whatever I almost bought one yesterday but it, they're so much easier and they cool just as good as this but anyway so I got all this stuff installed finally um, and now I have OS 10 actually working um, and I'll take a quick video, I guess, of that booting up here. Um, this is my Windows 10 install right now. And you can see, if we go to, like, System, you can see OS 10 is going to read all this stuff a little bit differently, um, which I don't really care about. But So you can see it's an i7-6700K. It's got 64 gigs of DDR4. Um, it's got the... Uh, I guess it doesn't show the graphics on here it's somewhere. I don't know. I don't really. I'm not really a Windows user, but it's a 1080i, 1080 Ti edition. Um, and then literally all we have to do is go over here and hit restart. So just as soon as it restarts, it's gonna post up. Ooh, that RGB looks good. Anyways, this is going to post, and then it's going to go into Clover EFI Bootloader, or UEFI Bootloader, or however you say it. And uh, it's going to allow you to pick what operating system you want to start with. If you just don't press anything, then it will load up to uh, just Mac OS X, but you can scroll around here to the different things. So if I want to load Mac, I can go load boot Mac OS from Macintosh HD, and then boom, I'm right into Mac. And this system, honestly, was totally painless to set up. Like, it just was not that bad. I literally bought all the hardware that supported, so you can, if you get on custom Mac or on, um, to, uh, what is it? There's a bunch of, of Hackintosh sites you can get on. Um, but they will actually tell you um, right out of the box. But there it is. That's Mac OS X, and it boots up, and it works. Um, it's pretty cool, uh, and it works great. Anyways, um, that's it. I just wanted to do like a quick video of, of exactly what I was doing now to work on, get all my work done and be able to game on the fly. Um, it's so much easier of a system and I'm super happy with it. Plus that RGB looks so good. I don't know, I've always loved lights. Ever since I was a little kid, I had those big static balls and I had uh, lava lamps and all kinds of stuff. So I've always been a person that loves lights. And this is just so cool looking to me. I'm gonna turn the lights off so you can see the RGBA before I go. Ooh, that looks good.